In this pipeline tutorial, we will show you how to sculpt a head morph in ZBrush and later import it for use in iClone. The first thing we do is export a base model for the head morph. So we go inside 3D Exchange 4 and we click on Export Model inside the head morph panel. The model will be made as an OBJ file type. Once inside ZBrush, just go to the Tool tab and import the OBJ head morph. Then switch to edit mode and start reshaping the model with different types of brushes. Here I will use the move brush to do the main shape changes. Here I go into Tools and then the Geometry panel to subdivide the model in order to increase the mesh resolution. Later, I start to add some wrinkles to the face. Here, we get some skin on it and later try to fine tune the shape and sculpt details. Then, I view the original mesh resolution and export the head as an OBJ file. After, I need to go to the Tool Tab's Normal Map and make sure that the tangent is on. And then I'll create a Normal Map and clone Normal Map to copy the Normal Map to Current Texture. Remember to also go to Texture and do a vertical flip first and then export the map as a BMP file. Inside 3D Exchange 4, you import the modified OBJ head model and then export the head as a VNS file. Later, launch iClone 4 and open a character with a G4 head. Remember, only G4 heads can be morphed in iClone 4. Then, load the VNS file of the custom head morph and change the weight of the effect. You may also adjust the teeth and eyes if you choose. Later, I go to Skin and select the face material. Here I will import the normal map from the bump channel. Also remember to check the Import as Normal Map option.
For further adjustments, just modify the ambient color, the specular, and the gloss. You can also play around with the lighting in order to view the effects on your character. The great thing about sculpting in ZBrush is that we can create great details on our characters without necessarily increasing the polygon count in iClone. 